This is James Kendrick with www.jkontherun.com, a gigaom site, with a first advanced look at the brand new, newest Blackberry on the market. Well, no, it's not on the market yet. It's not even out yet. The Blackberry Storm Verizon version for here in the United States. I just received this earlier today and what a sweet phone and I'm going to give you a oh, an overview of the Blackberry Storm in this video I'm going to shoot a series of several short videos this will be the first of those but as you can see it's got that half VGA screen it's absolutely beautiful for size comparisons, got it right here next to an iPhone 3G. The BlackBerry Storm is smaller, it's shorter, a little bit wider, and it's just only a tiny bit thicker. So this is easily the sweetest BlackBerry I have ever used. And I love BlackBerries. I have a BlackBerry of my own, and this is a sweet phone. What sets this apart is all, obviously it's the first BlackBerry without a physical keyboard. As you can see, it is a nice little touch screen. Everything is there. It looks very familiar, very BlackBerry-like. You've got your menus here, your typical BlackBerry stuff at the top. Let's take a quick overview. This, of course, is the screen. You've got a little indicator that, that blinks when you have email and the like. On this side, you've got the little USB connector and the, I forget what they call it, convenience, bu convenience button, which will activate voice dialing. Nothing on the bottom. On this side, you've got the camera button, the volume up and down, the headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter tip standard. Now up here you can't really see them, but there is a mute button. It's flush. And this is the screen lock button, which as you can see when you have it set to timeout, you can bring the screen back simply by hitting this little button that's embedded. Now on the bottom you've got the send and end buttons, as you expect, and the typical BlackBerry menu and go back button which I'll be showing you how that works here in just a minute. As you can see, the menus, application icons shoot up when they need to. And after and you wait a few seconds, it'll go back down. It'll collapse back down and give you most of your screen back up here. Um, Beautiful icons, beautiful interface. This is running the REM OS 4.7, brand new for this phone. And so far I'm finding it's pretty cool. Let's get that fruity phone out of the way, shall we? Now a couple of things set this extremely unique from any other touchscreen phone. Uh, first of all, as you saw, it does have the accelerometer. You tilt it over and it shoots over into landscape mode. It'll shoot back into portrait mode and there it's got all of the uh, screen real estate back. Push anywhere in the empty zone and you get all the icons back. And, and there's more here. You can just scroll through them. See how it's a nice capacitive digitizer. It just scrolls just like a lot of the other touch phones and this I'm finding works very well um, it's very uh, sorry about this I'm trying to move this camera around so I can let you see it really 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 straight up and I can still see it I'm way off to the side here anyway I gave you the brief overview of the hardware itself this thing has one gigabyte embedded RAM memory for the system and it's also shipping and this is really cool with an 8 gigabyte I think it's a micro SD or mini SD card it's installed in here in the back 
it ships with that. So this becomes a pretty sweet multimedia phone in its own right. I'm trying to get the back cover off, which is metal, by the way. 3.2 megapixel camera with a flash. And if I'm not mistaken, it's got autofocus, which is pretty cool. And I think it also takes, has image stabilization. I could be wrong about that. I thought I read that somewhere. Like I said, I've only had this for a couple of hours. It just showed up here. Anyway, I'm doing the accelerometer here. See how that flips over, flips back. It looks like it's three-way. It doesn't do upside down, which I'm not sure why you'd want it to. But it, it actually does all three directions. I did not know that. So you're learning about this device along with me. Anyway, interesting part things about this. Let's see. We've got different uh, applications. Typical BlackBerry messaging. You've got your contacts. See how fast everything happens. Your calendar. Week view there that we're flipping through. I'm going to show you the web browser in a minute. This comes with Verizon's visual voicemail. So you can actually see who you've got a voicemail from. I'm covering up his phone number. I don't want you to see Kevin's phone number, but Kevin had left me a voicemail earlier. Pretty cool. What else do we have here that this ships with? Of course, you've got your media player. This is a full multimedia device. Let's go here to music. I'll let you uh, listen to it. Sample song it came with. It's very loud, so it's got very good sound. I'm trying to hold the camera up straight. Okay. That's enough of that. Now, one thing you need to know about this screen. This screen is very reminiscent of the brand new MacBook trackpads. In other words, the whole screen is a capacitive screen. In fact, let me get out of here so I can demonstrate this. The whole screen is capacitive. See, you touch and see how things get, they show up with blue highlighting, but nothing's happening, right? That's because the entire screen is a giant button. And what that means is nothing actually happens until you actually push the button. So you can highlight and do menu items with that. Or when you want to really select it, you push it. See if you can hear this click. It actually clicks. So you can not only feel the click, but you can hear it. And this is really important because this phone has, and I am going to try to demonstrate this if I can. I'll go to this draft email I'm working on. Has both the SureType keyboard when you're in portrait. This is the BlackBerry SureType that I'm finding. This is very, very well done. In fact, Let's go here. You gotta actually click to select and push the cursor like I just did there. So we can start typing and I'm actually pushing and I'm feeling an actual button click. And what I'm finding is that I'm trying to type and talk at the same time. See how accurate this is? You see the predictive te text going on. I'm not even looking at what I'm doing, really. You see how easy that is. Now, if you switch this over into landscape mode, notice you instantly get a full QWERTY keyboard, just like a thumb board. And when I say just like a thumb board, I really mean that because I am discovering that even with only a few minutes of getting used to it, see how you can make the keys highlight like that but I'm not pushing them so nothing's happening 
So when you want to tight, hear it clicking? More importantly, and I, I'm doing this off to the side. I can't watch what I'm doing. So please excuse me for any mis, mistypes. You got that predictive text here too. This is really cool. This is the best on-screen keyboard I have ever used. It blows the iPhone away. And here's the other thing that blows the iPhone away that I want to show you real quickly before we shut down. Look at this. Multi-touch. I touch the beginning and then the end of a block of text and it highlights it. And that's important because then I hit the menu button and I can say cut that. Gone. Yes, you saw that right. I'm going to put that back in and I'm going to show you again. Highlight. Let's do copy this time. Put the cursor down here. And paste. Cut and paste on a touchscreen only device. Yes, Apple, it can be done. And this is very well implemented with the multi-touch. See how I'm in touch the beginning, end of the block of text, and it's highlight to be worked with the menus. So this is the, let's get back out to the main screen. This is the Verizon Blackberry Storm. And I want to thank the folks at Verizon for getting me a very advanced look at this. Let me back this up so you can see it. Very advanced look at the, uh, at the Storm. I am so far very impressed with this device. I'll be doing some written reviews on JK on the Run, covering the specs and everything. I just wanted to give you a brief little look at what we've got here. I've got it fully configured right now to work with my Gmail. It's syncing with Google Calendar, Google Contacts, with the uh, Google Mobile Apps, Google Sync. All that took just a little while to set up and I was ready to go. And of course it's a Blackberry so it'll work with Blackberry Internet Server or Blackberry Enterprise Server too. So this is really sweet. The best BlackBerry to date, in my opinion, and it doesn't even have a keyboard. No, one thing is for certain, this is not your father's BlackBerry. This has been James Kendrick with JKOnTheRun.com. Quick look at the BlackBerry Storm from Verizon. Thanks, and keep checking the site for the additional follow-up videos. The next one's going to be demonstrating more of that lovely keyboard I just showed you, gave you a tease of, and also show you the full HTML web browser, which I am very impressed with. Thanks. Check back.